Hey, let's be right over. We're back here with more Pikmin 4 story mode. Me. Summary, you say? How, how much? Oh, okay, story summary. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Last time we just uh, got out of the, the yellow Pikmin and left a cave. Is that correct? We, uh, first yellow Pikmin we've gathered. Found them in a cave right in the early in the morning. And now it should be just out of after morning and we should be outside and we can go dig out their actual onion. At which point, presumably like Pikmin 3, it'll merge with our onion and we'll have one super onion that will give us yellow and red Pikmin. We have like a hundred red Pikmin. We don't need any more of those for the moment. So we should give that corpse that was lying about to the yellow Pikmin. Uh, provided it's still here, which it ought to be, because it was here overnight. <laughs> so what the heck? Time stayed the same. I'm sure I synchronized your croc- <laughs> I synchronized your crocsly. I'm sure I synchronized your clockly, but something's off. I calculated the difference. It looks as if about a six as much time has passed on the surface as you spent on the ground. Ah! Wait! Oh, so the time was passing. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you could take as much time as you need to explore caves. Oh, so maybe they're not saying a sixth. They're just saying they're just picking a number to be funny, but it, in in reality, it does slow down because this is about the time I thought it was at before. I could go check actually, but you know what? I'm not gonna. Point is, we can take longer in caves. Thanks, I appreciate that. Oh, yet another uh, curiosity uh, cutscene. What's the problem? No, oh, I see. The Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. Yeah, there are limits to how many and what types of Pikmin you can have out on the surface at any one time. But don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Any remaining Pikmin will go back to the Onion with the SS Beagle. Oh, okay, good. Well, because <laughs> I was like, what about the yellow Pikmin we just got? We need those to dig out the other yellow Pikmin. Good. In fact, I'd like uh, our entire team to consist of them at the moment, so I can uh, build them as quickly as possible. Is this, is this 20 all we have in the ship as well? Like, this is the total number we have? 100% the crackling cauldron. Also, ID badges. Uh, the person we rescued down there, we already looked at that. Move base, auto target lock, right, we know about these. Pikmin cat, when I brought some wild Pikmin into up, uh, found it a cave up to the surface, not all the Pikmin exited the research pod. Um, there must be a limit on how many Pikmin can be out. Why do you have a research pod if this is Pikmin 1? <laughs> there must be a limit on how many Pikmin can be out on the surface at the time, and it seems that there can be three types at most. Oh, interesting, that's new. The surface limit is, is it's a similar system. It used to just be 100 altogether. But now it's like 20, and I guess we're going to be upgrading it as we go on. Because 20 seems like a really small amount for certain, for like boss fights and stuff. And also we saw Walmart had more. But three types at most, that's new. Maturation with the nectar, right? They faster become faster. Majority rule, that's the way who, who, the, who the onion, who, which onion it goes to. Whenever the onion is bad spot, it is bad spot. It's do, leader's duty to remain calm, quickly assess the situation, form a plan of action. Uh, Re-engage them with whistles whenever bad stuff happens. Yep. Subterranean time warp. Upon returning to the surface after exploring underground, I noticed the handsome like clock had barely moved at all, and I've been down there for hours. I can only assume that on this planet, time flows differently on the surface than it does on the ground, right? Uh, sunset, get back to the onion, gotcha. Right, and until we actually get the yellow onion, um, even though the yellow Pikmin are, are bumming around in the onion, uh, until we actually get the yellow onion, we cannot propagate them. So we gotta go get it, and we know where it is, thankfully, because we explored. Is that? What is that? Oh, it's an electric gate. Well, we'll deal with that as well. There are many things to be dealt with at the moment. Um... Uh, where, wait, I said we knew where the onion was. <laughs> there it is. So at the moment, we don't have many commands we can issue to, um, Awachi. The thing that I'm saying that says switch makes me think that maybe we'll be able to play as Awachi at some point. Ooh, and how many, uh, yellow Pikmin do we need for this thing, by the way? Eh, eh, hang on, hang on. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, that didn't go the way I was expecting. <laughs> I thought they would just be able to uh, grapple onto it. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, that, that, we'll just leave that there. Yeah, they could reach. Well spotted. Excavation complete. So are they going to bring that onion back? Is that the idea? Anyway, um... They're welcome to do that while we go off gallivanting and uh, breaking other things. Let's just put five or six on this one. And then see about getting a few others to start bringing pellets back for once uh, that onion is back. Slash. Uh, does that make sense? No, wait, hang on. There was surely at least, like, at least one other electric gate around here. Or perhaps not. Right, so there's a paper bag here. Um, is there any chance that... I could just throw them up to that, since they're yellow Pikmin. Uh, they don't seem especially interested in going to actually take it on. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. I probably should have given more, put more pig, uh, Pikmin on the onions so that it would carry faster, but never mind, because here it is. All right, and there's that other cave we still have to explore, so we should got to get into that uh, right quickity quick. And I'll uh, have Awachi help um, with this one. Right as soon as we get the new onion merged into ours. Is it going to go cut in half and be a swirl now? Hey, the onion sucked it up. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called Flarlick. If we bring Flarlick to the onion, it will increase the number of Pikmin it releases onto the surface at any one time by 10. It does? Oh, cool. 
Whoa, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin. Yes, well, that's the idea. Absolutely. But also, if the yellow onion is in there... Oh, never mind. So, I thought that was meaning that we could propagate yellow Pikmin now, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Well, just in case we find the ability before, uh... Get off that place. Before the day's out, I'll leave that, that carcass there. I was pretty sure when we picked that onion up, it would <laughs> merge with ours and we'd be very able to propagate it then. So there's this watch here. Are we? Is the idea that we go up to this ledge once we've got a bridge and then, and then throw a Pikmin down at this thing? Or do we need some other kind of Pikmin to, like, maybe we need the rock Pikmin to, like, knock it off the wall or something? Anyway, uh, what we should do... Let's explore this little bit over here where I didn't smash the vases and totally meant to. Sorry, I'm not being very, very dentotally right now. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of time I could be using uh, that I'm not here. But, uh, let's at least start with this just well before we know what's over here. Why won't you charge? Oh, I have to select you, do I? Yes. My mistake. Yeah. Well done, Awachi. Good boy. Um, and there are a few more here. If you'd be so kind as to do that right again. Sorry about your head. Yeah. Okay, good. Ooh. A, a, a heckin' peach or something fell out of here. Uh, let's get all these materials. Why not? Oh, Archie could probably handle that, uh, fruit thing by, uh, himself, since- Oh! Okay, no, those are- Those are the male ones that don't, uh, can't deal any damage. Or the female ones. I forget which ones can't do any damage. But they're the- the non-hostile ones. Anyway. Punch! 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 <laughs> oh, wait, no, don't take those. Those are- that, that's- that's bad. I'm trying to get off the- well, okay, whatever. Get some more for the Red Pikmin, then. So if we- can I throw them- ah. I got you. Okay, so we need a few more than that. And is that a shortcut, or we have, have we not been up there? I think that's just a shortcut. But I, that's that's very Dendori of us to get a shortcut. So we should do that. So absolutely, um, far beyond anything else, well, it's, it's imperative that we get into that cave this evening. Oh my God, why are you guys? No, don't do that. Oh right, because it's so close to the onion that they're gonna automatically target this next one. Oh right, it's just pulling out more red pigment now that I've uh, now that we've expanded the uh, max by ten. So that's that's how you do that. Is you get the floor lick. Which is apparently <laughs> got stopped by Awachi. <laughs> um, uh, which is apparently when you find other onion bulbs. I'll just uh, send one red picking on each of these. We can uh, they can be just hitting our max of thirty while we go out and uh, I'm from the wrong side here. Bring this shortcut down anyway. But as far as that said, as far as I can tell, since there's no time limit in this game, um, much like Pikmin 2, like in the sense of, well, you don't, I don't think it doesn't seem like we have a limit to the number of days we're allowed to be here. Perhaps. Um, it is so that, uh, mostly doing things fast is just for glory. I mean, I suppose it also helps you in, in the day if you can do things quick more quickly, certain things more quickly, other things become easier. I don't mean to, to insinuate that that's not a thing, but, um, more that I, we don't have to absolutely stress about, like, oh, I've got to restart this day, I did it wrong kind of thing, I don't think. It's more just for, like, bragging rights of, I did the game in X number of days. It's how it feels so far. Oh, this isn't, uh, I thought this was a bit more, uh... Like, of like a, a harsh wall. Oh my god! Oh, the Pikmin did not follow me anywhere near the speed at which I expected. Did any of them actually die from that? I think maybe we got them in time. Okay, so wait, maybe I can I th I throw the yellow Pikmin over this wall? No, it seems like they're not- I, I thought it would be like a thing where they- they hung on and it- and it pulled it off, like that, like, thing that we- uh, those, like, antiseptic whites or whatever it is we found in that cave, but it looks like maybe we'll have to knock off the wall with something else. Probably Rock Pikmin in that case. Well, I'm really burning through time here. So this is the baseball, right? This is that, uh, sun- that strawberry that's up on a thing. Oh, this is that electric gate we just knocked down, so we should go explore that. Right. And then we'll try and duck last minute into the- the cave. In the interest of time, I'm just gonna bring my 17 yellow Pikmin that I have here, cause... Uh... Well, soon to be 19. Cause heading back to the base at this point, I think, is a bad move, uh, for our time. We've not been around here, but obviously can't get across that, or I could, but... Whoa. Sorry, I had to pause to save my time. Something wasn't right with that person. It was one of our people, but they had like a Pikmin over their head? Can I just cl climb that myself, or is that too steep? Everyone, everyone... Chill for a sec. I need to investigate this. What's going on with you? It looks like they got like a pink onion or something on their head. Oh my goodness, well I guess that'll have to wait. Ooh, do you think we can uh, spawn a base around here? This would be just the place where it would be useful. Um, oh, there's one uh, being guarded there. No, no, there's a Flint Beetle! Aha! Did you get nectar in this game like you did in uh, the other ones? Uh, no, a pellet. That's in the first game. I think he dropped pellets. And then three pellets. And then... No, oh, that's not at all where we want to be. Wait, hang on. Let's not get lured into the beast's maw. No, the beet Beetle woke the thing up. Uh, bugger. Okay, we want to take that down, thing down in a minute, probably. Ooh. Um, let's uh, get this shortcut going. All right, y'all think we're good at digging. That's uh, good to remember. 
Um, anything else in this corner before I head out? This looks like something we could push. Uh, but, oh no, it's a uh, paperback to flatten. Oh, that might be. An, is that an onion or more flour? Like, I don't actually. I'm not super sharp with the difference at the moment. Wow, those Pikmin were in no <laughs> rush to help those two carrying that. We got some kind of coin anyway. Is it like an old uh, Japanese coin, I think, maybe? It reminds me of something that was in Pikmin 2. Uh, right, let's flatten this bag and see what um, what getting this this thing here back will do for us. Because it looks more, it looks as much like an onion as that other thing did. To me. Look around! Look at that! Another onion! It looks the same as the other thing we gathered, but whatever. Maybe it's a bit bigger. This onion's a different color from the first one we found. Will it also move on its own after we transport it? Oh my god, you need a lot to carry this one. Well, it's good because that's, uh, we had to have a lot. Oh no, that's not a, that's not an, uh, an, an old Japanese coin. It's a, like a NASA patch or something. <laughs> anyway, we're probably gonna lose a, ho a whole lot of loot here, um, on account of the fact that I'm gonna probably just dip into the cave before, um, too long here. And especially as we've only gotten the onion at this late juncture, we won't be able to propagate many of our yellow pigment today, but we probably have enough to go spelunking anyway, in that nearby cave. Even We probably don't even really need yellow pigment for it, to be honest with you. Since they actually highlighted it specifically as, whoa, that's an onion over there. I'm betting this time we'll, we'll get the onions to merge and we'll get, we'll get yellow pigment on our team proper, which I would very much appreciate. Yes. Oh, cool. Now it becomes candy cane onion. Marvelous. I love that it's got this weird apple-ish texture in this game. It sucked up the other onion? Well, that was unexpected. You don't think that's going to be a problem, do you? Not far from it. Unbelievable! The onion's fused, and now there's just one with two colors! Wait! Do you think it will be able to propagate Pikmin of both types now? I do think that. And I think we should, uh, encourage this... ...behavior. <laughs> Starting with you. Ooh, the onion- uh, the pellets now blink different colors. That's marvelous. And you! And I'm going to wait for you to change colors again. Go! Oh god, wait. No, hold on. I really misjudged that. Oh my god, not mess with the time here. Okay, come on. Okay, good. Uh, and the yellows will... Uh, no, not that. You, you. Not like that. Okay. Let's get a few more yellow pigments and then we're gonna charge into this cave. And we'll see how much, just how much time we have left. We might even be able to expand our sparkly um range uh, this very day. It's very exploration day. I'll leave those two pellets there, and we uh, there were there's another uh, potential. Oh, okay, that's I see what's going on here. Um, let's just go 15 and 15 then. Go about your business. Decide who which among you is going back, and let's do this. Okay. We're about to hit the period where it's heading to sunset, and obviously there was a uh, I knew the base we could explore here. Perhaps some treasure in around here. And all this junk. Um, I don't know what the stopwatch means, <laughs> but there was a person there. Obviously, we've got a shortcut up there now, so we can we can head up there and explore it another time. This, the way this, there's just one monster at the top of the spiral here seems really suspicious and scary to me, but I won't worry about it for the moment. Oh no, sorry, this was must have been the baseball because this was our very first landing pad. Anyway, now that we have the scientists back today, uh, they should be able to help us make clay for the bridges and presumably, by the sound of it, do some other stuff with all those materials we've been gathering, which would be nice for uh, making shortcuts here. But it feels like we're um. Oop. After this cave, um, we're gonna be, we're gonna probably gonna be heading off from this place not too long. Maybe we'll spend one more day gathering some resources here and and seeing if there's anything else here. And then for the moment, we'll have to shove off because we can't make it up to this or this as it stands. Because that's too high a ledge. Once I guess once Owachi gets the ability to jump is when we'll be able to manage that. But first, it's cave time, baby. Last Frost Cavern. Oh dear. I entered a cave to look for SS dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. The creature that defies the logic of space, what precisely does that entail? Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimatized that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. I think that the, the time warping stuff is way more confu uh, confusing, personally. There was a compass in there. Suggested is red and... Uh, well, I'd rather have them both. Because it says red and question mark, so I don't know. Oh, I guess red and ice Pikmin. Nevertheless, I'll... Oh, that's, that's, so that's cool. When you get to a cave, you don't even have to worry about what Pikmin are in your squad. You can just rejig it from there, okay? I think, I think they did tell me that, and I forgot. If it's anything like Pikmin 2, the suggested only tells you what hazards are down there, and it may be that, like, the yellow Pikmin still have some use in there anyway. I mean, maybe not. Maybe I'm being overly paranoid, but... We're about to find out. And we're also probably about to find out whether that comment about it running at one-sixth of the time is... Genuine, like you genuinely have just like the time runs six times slower, or if it just that was just their way of saying time doesn't stop because that's impossible canonically, but you have as much time as you want. Right, Frostbitten Cavern. So far, it seems much the same as other stuff we've been uh, seen so far. Oh, watch, you smell something. 
but I won't worry about that for now because we're gonna run into it as we explore the course of the natural course of this uh, uh, area. Right, I'm getting how the, the the target cycling happens now. Oh right, I mean there's no harm in just picking them up now because um, we it's gonna be converted to sparkly I'm down here. Marvelous. Watch if you would be a doll and smash these. Thank you, thank you, lad. And these again if you would. There are weird noises going on in this place that I can't say I'm especially fond of, unless it's the music. I'm sort of finding it hard to tell. Oh, there's some nectar in here. Good, we needed a bit. Ah, it's part of the explorer's set, or whatever it's called. Now that we have uh, a compass and binoculars. It's only got four treasures in it. I don't. I wonder if anything happens when you get the set uh, complete. Oh, there are ice pikmin fighting that thing right now. Sweet! Well, we don't have an ice onion, but we we could surely store some ice pikmin. Um, should I save the nectar for them? No, I'd rather say I'd rather... Uh, <laughs> Go into this fight fully equipped if I can. It is only a blowhog after all, and probably if it hits you with your its cryo breath, it's probably like the fire where you get a, a minute to save your Pikmin from it. But uh, that's no reason to hold back, is it? It looked like wild Pikmin to me. I thought it was gonna stop me for a cutscene. I'm glad it didn't. Oh, I, that was a really bad time to uh, let that happen. Oh god. Okay, can I whistle them to unfreeze them? Oh, whoa. Is the poor thing frozen? Try the whistle to see if it'll still respond. Yes, this is what. I okay, good. It's just like other things. So probably you have like a set amount of time before it like freezes and then dies. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm really messing up the timing for this. Okay, I'm just I'm staying whistling here. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for it to once now that it's thrown, I can just go ham because it's not gonna throw for a little bit here. Sorry, I really was timing that horribly and messing up our lovely flowers. Ice Pikmin, so cute. Oh, maybe there weren't rock Pikmin in this game, and do these Pikmin serve their purpose in terms of like bludgeoning stuff down? Are these Pikmin too? Let's see. The voyage log says. The ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Well, I mean, we were equally surprised when we found fire flame retardant Pikmin, did, weren't we? <laughs> ice Pikmin can use their ice bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. I mean, that should go for most living creatures, right? Interesting. So maybe we don't even need our blue Pikmin to get across some of the, the larger gaps we have here. Maybe we can just freeze them as it stands. So we may actually have yet more to explore here before shoving off, even if we might get our sparkly um, quota, um, you know, if that we could go to another place by the end of this cave. Their bodies are made of ice? Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible, yeah. How does that, how does that work with joints and stuff? Maybe they're not like ice, like literal chunks, but they're just like made of a very, very cold flesh material. Well, that's wicked anyway. And they'll uh, hang out in our uh, onion even before we get their onion, so that's good to know as well. I was expecting to get two types in the first area. That's exciting. I wonder when, um, it, I know we at least get purple Pikmin in this game. Actually, I, I can even look here. There's, ah, oh, the playing thing is covering it. But I know that I can see at least a purple Pikmin. Are there also white Pikmin in this game? I think I see one. Yeah, that's one there. I wonder if they're going to get an onion in this game, uh, or if they're going to just have to stick with the ship and be gathered in a weird way like in Pikmin 2. Disband, right? I know about that. Ice Pikmin, yep. Flarlick. When an onion absorbs this whitish bulb, it seems to perk up and increase this Pikmin you can leave by 10. The scent reminds me of Gurk on my planet. I'm, uh... Tempted to have a nibble, but for now I'll just call it garlic and leave the taste test for another day. Probably wise. Always so weird how it's like, we have garlic on Earth. <laughs> Olimar apparently has uh, garlic on Hokutate. And now we find something that isn't exactly garlic, but somewhat resembles garlic, both ours and presumably his. <laughs> Hence probably my, my, well I mean, nuclear, probably nuclear warfare and all. So most likely it's like a mutated garlic. Wait, there's one I still haven't read? Right, I, just, I did read it, I just didn't look at the log entry. After training Moss, oh, that's what he, uh, he called his dog, to track a variety of scents, she can now uh, not only sniff out the missing parts of the SSS, uh, sorry, the SSS dolphin, SS dolphin, but also a Pikmin of whatever type I specify, and even stray Pikmin. She's already proving to be a trusty partner, so perhaps once we get another um, crew member, they'll be able to like teach uh, her, um, our dog new stuff. That would be super cool. Good chunk. Control settings, by the way, did I really? Oh, that's just looking at the controls, gotcha. Why says ride dismount, but I imagine I can't do that yet. No, doesn't appear to be. I'm curious, if I swap to quick control, Control type. Can I see what what changes here? No, I don't really know what 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 that was about. Uh, you know, I'm actually gonna turn it back in case it messes me up. <laughs> I was trying to see if there was a way to to make it so that to turn off like shout outs where they go like, <laughs> "Are you missing pigment somewhere?" <laughs> it's starting to get on my nerves just a little bit, but I'll probably get used to it. Maybe maybe they'll stop doing it after this first area or something. I mean, I get that there hasn't been a pigment game in ten years, so you're you're assuming that most of your player base in theory hasn't played it. Oh, watch it, go get him! Nice! Wow, that dog is fierce. Oh, right, but uh, he can take damage, so it's better if I send uh, 
Pikmin because they're more nimble and uh, I can swarm with them. The way it, um, the the lock on does that, it does make it a little bit hard to like go like like one two three like when there's like when there's nothing locked on, I can easily go like one two three like if I wanted one on the right, one on the left, and you know whatever. It's a little harder to do that with the auto lock on, but um, so far they haven't made it so that the uh, um, the the combat really requires you to do that at any point, so I guess it's uh, it's fair game there. Whoa, whoa. Okay, they were just pulling out of the, the leaves and made a lot of noise, I thought, for a moment. <laughs> a scary, scary moment that there was something come out of the leaves to kill us. That looks like more Flarlock to me. Oh, and more Ice Pikmin. How about that? We'll have a few, a, a tidy sum to bring with us and carry on here, which is nice. What is this? Do we just bonk it? Or, oh, no, the, I need the ice to, to, like, freeze it, and then it cracks, I guess. Whoa, interesting. That's weird. Oh, and there's a cat in right there. Look at that. Uh, I'll leave you two doing that, and then I'll send the rest of you on this over here. With the watchy, we should be able to push this, right? Watchy counts as three. Yeah, there you go. And once this is frozen, I guess we'll be able to, like, shatter it. <laughs> Just like that! Frozen solid! I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the art of the Pikmin aura, watchy. Can I not punch it myself? Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! Oh, that's gonna take forever. Okay. Let's... <laughs> yes, I could use your, your assistance, please. Um, are there monsters in there? Like, if I leave them to go break this all down, is it gonna be a problem? Probably not. Let's go get the rest of our crew back. Uh, looks like the rest of this map has not much in store for us. It's a nice, simple one. Uh, hopefully the floor like uh, Hydro Jelly Burst! <laughs> hopefully the floor like uh, takes hold even down here, like it'll send it back up to base to increase our max to 40. Yep! This is Flarlick. We'll take it back to the onion. Good. I was worried you were going to turn into sparkly for a minute. Or, you know, extract the sparkly or whatever. Thanks for watching. Um, and once we're done with this pile of materials, I'll just get all our whole crew together because we've got a few new ice equipment and we'll have them eat some nectar. So far, it's seeming like um, time is not going to be an issue down here whatsoever. Just time does just officially stop. I don't know how your morphology permits this, but drink up, ice things. There you go. It's enough for everyone, I'm pretty sure. There you are. Last Frost Cavern, 75% but sub-level 1, so I guess there's... Oh, wait, never mind. This is the only sub-level, is it? How interesting. Well, I'll be bringing you back anyway, and we'll see just who and what you are. I guess they all just look at this, like, this sort of dull blue color at first, just that it's, like, suspense as to who is it? <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> I think that was all that was in here, was just that uh, Captain then... That's all? I don't know if these weeds at the side have anything to do with anything. If that's for Pikmin 2, they'd have a whole logbook entry and <laughs> all of them would comment about their the uniqueness of how they grow or something like that, but it isn't Pikmin 2. It's Pikmin 4. Twice the Pikmin. I think we might have found another rescue officer. Let's hurry and verify their ID info. Yes, please! Schnauz, home planet, uh, planet Sugure. So this is, I, this is what I was figuring is we weren't just gonna be finding our crew and then Olimar. There had to be way more people if there were gonna be, if there's a stat for how many castaways you've rescued. Otherwise, the stat would only ever go up to eight. Schnauz from Planet Sigure, which, um, and by the way, um, I, I, I realized only late that um, I'm, most of our crew, Rescue Corps crew is from Gaia. I'm from Carrot, <laughs> I think is how the planet's supposed to be said. So I had that wrong in the first three episodes. Sorry about that. An acclaimed treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. Well, what a coinky dink. Come on. I wonder how that will, uh, what, how his skills will be able to aid us. Hang on. This is no rescue officer. Who is this and how did he get here? The ID shows that he's a treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Well, would you like to take a guess? <laughs> I'm not... I, I, you know, I, I used to just be a, a kickboxer back on uh, Planet Carrot. But even I can reason out. <laughs> it's probably here for treasure. Hmm. I wonder. I also wonder. You remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Olimar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up a signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. That wouldn't surprise me. Maybe they ended up Captain Captain Olimar too. Shipwrecked and stranded. That's my hunch, anyway. I'd like to think this appraiser is the only one, but... We should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways and be ready to rescue them, too. Chances are they're in danger. I concur. <laughs> I'm officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? I've got it, all right. Why, why aren't you telling the scientist? All oh, right, they're still, like, recovering and unconscious. Because it's the same day. As if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Olimar and the Rescue Corps, there are also civilian castaways on this planet. Rescue any that you come across. In terms of rescuing them, the process is much similar to just gathering treasure, so... In other words, it's very easy. One castaway found, and 100% uh, last Frost Cavern. Perfect, so we're good here. These are just other civilians is a, uh, the category we have here. I love like Automore just gets his own category. Even though really he should be a civilian, technically, but I get his mission uh, crucial, so he doesn't count uh, for that same thing. Whee! Oh man, I forgot the research spot was down here in it. Scared me when it came out. I thought it was about to start a boss fight, like someone was going to yank us down, and it was going to be a surprise boss fight. 
Schnalls rescued, Sparkling discovered, Director of Destiny, Refreshing Goo, and 11 creatures, 201 total. So not actually enough to expand our reach, but damn near. Director of Destiny, it's called something similar in the other games, isn't it, Compass? I think so. The, the, the paint, no, it was not, though. It was called something different. I can't remember what it was, though. 1260, so we're rather close. One or two more treasures will do it, Um, but it seems like maybe the Ice Pikmin won't be able to just smash. Uh, You, you don't throw them like Rock Pikmin into walls and stuff, but the Rock Pikmin are also in this game. I don't, I don't see them, but they're probably behind the playing symbol as well. Oh, no, yeah, there they are on the right. So it's got, I'm, I'm betting Rock Pikmin are how we get that uh, thing off the wall. This will be quite a day uh, to end here, because we'll be getting, um, we've got two new Pikmin types and two re uh, people rescued, so we'll have all kinds of new features available at camp, probably. Oh, it did the little, the little, the, uh, um, cave exit theme for him, too. I didn't even notice that the first time. It was like a sort of more subdued version, but it was the same theme. Like, da, 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 We can take out ten more Pikmin now. This should speed up our search. There's a lot of this wee talk going on. <laughs> yeah, this will do for now. I mean, we're not going to be hanging, spending too much time out here. Um, oh, no, yeah, time definitely was passing somewhat. It probably just stops at, at, at the ten uh, second timer, though. Right, um, any last minute things we want to do? Did these vases come back? I could have sworn we smashed vases over here. Well, while the ice pikmin could surely help us with, uh, some stuff around here, it probably is like you need a certain amount to freeze each kind of, uh, pool. Um, I'm just gonna take care of my squad over here. This is my squad, they're all right. I want to just see if I can, I'm just gonna, like, charge over to this area and see if we can cover a little bit more of the map and maybe I'll show up as if there's a treasure hiding nearby. In these last two seconds. If we can cover this part of the map here. It's not found any treasure yet, but, like, I bet if there's one up on this ledge or something, it would be nice to know now. Uh, yeah, there is. Um, and there's a... Uh, is that one of those things we need to weigh Pikmin down to pull on it? Ah, I didn't get to see in time. Perfect. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll skip the, be skipping those eventually. <laughs> But for now, I'm just, I'm basking in it. I can't remember if that theme happened to Pikmin 3. It must have done. They wouldn't have removed that theme for the end of the day. Pikmin 2 was fun because it had, um, it had four different versions. There was the version if you got killed, which was like really slow and like sluggish. There's the version if you didn't really get anything done, which you see is very understated. There's the normal version, and then there's the version if you got like a lot done where it's all like, this full like orchestral like da -da 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 -da. right. Russ and Snow is rescued. That's that's those they're good things to be rescued. Oh, sorry, the dragon eyed what? <laughs> Holy cow! With the two uh, quite, um, caves we under we explored today, spelunked within. We got the dr double dragon eyed scope, the illumination goo, the deceptive snack, dusty bed, daughter of the earth, cookie of nimbled circles, SS chocolate, lesser mock bottom. Ah, good to see we're keeping some things never d change. Satellite shield, um, because <laughs> it says satellite on it. They think it's like some kind of massive power source or something. Director of Destiny, refreshing goo and creatures. Because there's there's a paint similar to that one in Pikmin 2, although it's like there's like it's like a gag brand Mario paint. But I can't. I'm trying to remember. Is it just called creative goo or something like that? Anyway, so progress in this total area was brought from zero to twenty eight percent. Wait, it says onions three. So so the floor like counts as the onion as onion as a collectible, which is interesting. Whole bunch more raw material. So. It, the progress in this area only counts as far as what things you've gathered, right? Okay, it even shows the bracket there. So we've got 28% of the things that are, are here, which I guess I was at first I was I looked at that number then it seemed right, but now I'm thinking that there are two more caves there, and since we're gonna get to them later, they're probably really deep ones. So that makes total sense to me. Hi. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Lee's just in the corner, like, yeah, no, pro no. <laughs> It's fine. I'm doing okay. <laughs> of course, Captain. I had no doubt the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Uh, anyhow, uh, now that you're back for us, can you tell us if you came across any rocks like this before we found you? <laughs> oh, Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see them, I've already completed very thorough research on this material. That's what I like to hear. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable and can be slap shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Huh? <laughs> to put it simply, the more of this material you collect, the more inventions I can make up to aid in your research. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It will be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise. Cool, so it's going to be used for upgrades and uh, building bridges. 
What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along material scientists would be key to our success. Well, you are all one team, right? So <laughs> you weren't going to leave one of you behind. Unless you did sort of pick like six of you. But by the sound of it, I was the last one uh, in, in our rescue corps. So I assume you brought everyone, except for me. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoother than usual now that you're here. We should be able to find our rescue officers more quickly as well. Speaking of which, we've also discovered a few castaways beside our own rescue officers and Captain Olimar. There may be more. What should we do about them, Captain? House them? Feed them? <laughs> There's only one thing we can do. Rescue them. No matter how many there are out there. And once they're here, I'm confident you'll be able to take good care of them, Colin. Copy that, Captain. And the task for the to-do list. <laughs> I had a feeling you wouldn't be super <laughs> thrilled about that one. Very well, very well. No mention of what the treasure appraiser uh, can offer in terms of skill set. Oof. I am bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Day four, did it say? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. That was day three, because it was the second day uh, past the tutorial day. Are you a bit bigger or is it my imagination? <laughs> Wait, is it just me or did I watch it go through a growth spurt overnight? That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. Including piling on him and jumping and stuff. Oh, the Pikmin like him! The Pikmin sure are playful today. They love each other, look! <laughs> yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Owachi's come into his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Likewise. Right, um, another benefit of Owachi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. <laughs> Meaning what? <laughs> And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. Right. Oh, I guess that'll be your job. From the looks of it, Owachi is as ready as ever to fill up that pup drive, so you're near the, the dog trainer and all. Well, you know I don't know what that means, but I guess it's like an experience bar, basically. All right, officers, to your stations, please! Copy that! I now call the strategy meeting to order. First things first. Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. <laughs> it would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard. Because they're done. I should I should say that I was being really snarky about uh, me being the only one going out, but that is my, that's like my role in the group. They, everyone's got their role to fill. Collins, the communications and engineer. Shepard's the leader and the dog trainer. This guy's the scientist, and I'm the the scout, basically. What upgrades did you make something? The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw materials collected in the field into all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. I like the sound of that. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but um, good work nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sure. One last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. This I'm very interested in. I have no doubt that'll be useful to you out in the field. Because there's nothing like this in the other three games. In the other three games, it's like, you'll get an upgrade when you find one in the field, goddammit. You'll have to fight a boss for it. <laughs> but I'm very much into the idea of... Items, they said, so I guess you can get, like, first aid kits and stuff. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but raw material, too. I hope I can get an upgrade for my melee attack to make it super broken. That would be cool. Because the more fun I can do without risking my crew, uh, I prefer that. My crew referring to my Pikmin, in this case, not my guy and friends. Don't forget about our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Leon Owachi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Owachi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that! Right, yes, this, I, I figured you'd, uh, it, it, it took me a bit of time to, to realize it, but I figured you would be the dog trainer as, uh, after all. As soon as you two are ready, let's get your training started. I'd like to train. All right, it's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt that you two can handle it. Ooh, side missions are no watchy skills. Cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. This rescue pup training curriculum has been passed down through many generations. Watch your pup drive four. Oh, cool. So you need, uh... You, like, spend... It, it, these are skill points, basically, for the dog. Wicked. If Owachi's pup drive is built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you two want to take. Go to the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go to the chomp path if taking on creatures is your priority. Keep proper dendori practices in mind, and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties more efficiently. Gotcha. Um, so command level two uses... I can teleport them to go base or call them to me. Also enables go here on the radar map. Okay, go here is a very useful skill. You get um and command level three. If you got lost, need more more of them. You can direct, go gather pigment for you when he learns the skill. Okay, that I definitely want. Heal so he can heal me. When he's injured, he'll recover him. Oh, he'll recover himself as long as he takes it easy. He heals way lever faster. 
he heals up really quickly. So in the, the idea is that you you can use him instead of you uh, in scary situations, and he doesn't die like a Fickman. So if he's healing well, he'll be good. I imagine if he gets knocked out, he just goes out for the day, hopefully. He <laughs> isn't dead for the whole game. So Rush so shortens the charging time, and this one makes a more powerful impact, which, uh, so it's more for combat rather than exploration or anything like that. Cool. Chomp. Um, so this is just the normal attack power. So uh, it's just increase in attack power, increase in attack power. Got it. And buff is, this is increasing uh, carry sp carry strength, basically. So at, at some point you get 10. I mean, that's extremely useful, obviously. But I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go the path of command. I really like the idea of being able to uh, actually send him around. He learned command 2, level 2. Good boy. Being able to send him around will be very useful. But especially being able to gather Pikmin for me will be a, a, a extremely useful skill. Because that's, that's what I'm spending a lot of my time doing right now. And if it were Pikmin 3... Oh, right. Since they, they go on to him, I suppose... If I if I told him go here, I could send him specifically to where Pikmin are, and he would pick them up because they they jump onto him whenever he's nearby. So I could still do that. Um, it's just that it's the gather Pikmin. I, I imagine he does that automatically. Basically, is the idea. Oh, I'm liking this so far. Um, I could go for the the buff upgrade to bring it to five, but you know what? We're gonna have a lot of Pikmin pretty soon because we're getting lots of Flarlick. So I'm sort of not worried about that as much as I am learning the skill and then like the attack power stuff. So I'll save up his uh, skill. Scrummy Bone! What? <laughs> you put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Oachi. Yes, you are. Now I have a special treat for you. <laughs> Going forward, every time you complete training, you'll get a Scrummy Bone. Give it to Oachi as a reward for me. Uh, sure. I don't know why you wouldn't just give it to him yourself. <laughs> oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Yes. Oh, that's what pack is about, eh? Gotcha. All my items in there, so just pick the one I want to use. And it looked like I it's, i thought I saw a first aid kit in, uh, in the whole items I can develop for you path here, which would explain why you get myrtleized a lot more easily in this game, because they they want to make that, uh, they want to make the items have use, right? Interesting. So by the look of this, it extends his max health, so I guess I shouldn't use it, give it to him right away. Sorry about Owachi. I'll give it to you when we're in dire need, probably. Cool. Um, so that's, uh, this here. So it, it, it uh, heals him for full and extends his max health. Gotcha. Oh. Don't forget, I need more raw materials. Yes, where are you, by the way? I'd like to see what you can craft for me. Ah, oh, you're hanging around with the rest of the base. Cool. Let's get, um, are there any yellow pellets around here? They all seem red. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll have the yellow pigment, uh, propagate a bit anyway. The red pigment are in a Oh, no, they do turn yellow. My mistake. They were just doing it really slowly. Oh, did, wait, no, no. Did, did they change specifically because I swapped to the yellow pigment? Oh, okay, so, so in the rest area here, they're just being really cool about it. Cool. I appreciate that. Oh, here's your treasure, um, uh... Appraiser. So they'll, they'll, a treasure catalog, they said. So we can actually look at all the treasures we gather now. Thank you so much for rescuing me the other day. I confess, I'm uh, really quite flustered. I only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. Getting stuck here was not on my agenda. Hi. Oh, my apologies. I'm Schnauz, a noted appraiser of treasures. I often compile my findings in a little log for posterity's sake. I'd like to view them, Hello. please. Oh, you're interested in treasure, are you? I'd love for you to take a gander at my pride and joy. My treasure catalog. Alas, I lost all my data while I was... Well, lost myself. If you don't mind, would you allow me to praise my treasures you happen to collect? If you do, I shall compile the treasure data into a neatly edited treasure catalog. Of course, I'll offer you a reward for doing me this favor. All I require is that you keep me posted when you find something. What sort of reward are we talking about here? Cool, cool, here we go, got it. Um, Scepter snack, observe! I'm observing it, it's being observed! Found total. Oh, so there are multiple of the same treasure sometimes is what you're saying. Oh my god, it does have a, a log entry. Right, well, it's about the end of this episode, but I may as well just read all the log entries we have at the moment. This treasure takes a sophisticated palate to appreciate. First, a salty sweet sauce is put atop some kind of white food stuff that is then fried with a top thin a black layer of paper. It sounds awful, but it tastes wonderful. Surprising in the best way. Someone went to great lengths to, uh, lengths to, to first nibble this cookie into a perfect circle and then to nibble a perfect circle out of the middle of the cookie. The cookie craftsmanship exhibited here. It's mind-boggling, really. So I guess we don't know what the series names are until we have everyone in the series. This is what I was hoping for. It's just like in Pikmin 2. They're like, trying to guess what these things originally were <laughs> and failing miserably. SS Chocolate. It was this adorable ship's yummy smell that lured me in. Then suddenly I was taking a bite. Lo and behold, I found the ship to be edible. In fact, it's chocolate flavored. I'm still not quite sure what to make of this discovery. All I know is it's a delicious one. It's true. The rounded surface of this fruit is smooth as a baby's bottom. Meanwhile, the pale yellow flesh inside offers a refreshing flavor profile that is at once sweet and also sour. Really, as fruits go, it has much to offer. I concur. Peaches are yummy. Unless that's not what that was. I think it was. If it's a good night's sleep you're seeking, this bed can help. Not only is it quite spacious and comfortable, but if you, <laughs> spacious. If you flip it over, it will coat you in a fine cloud of dust that is said to encourage sweet dreams. Oh, chalkboard eraser. I see. 
I didn't see that at first. But bring a lint roller for when you're done sleeping. Path creator, this warning device worn by ancient guardian deities would be rung loudly for all to hear when a villager committed a wrongdoing. <laughs> Anyone who heard it would then immediately fall to the ground, clearing the way for guardians to pass. This massive scope uh, uh, allows two viewers to stand side by side and see far into the distance. As if that was impressive enough, it looks as if its design was based on dragon eyes. It's just a thing for a couple of adventurous explorers who hate taking turns. <laughs> It's astounding devices in case which direction fate is flowing. By reading the magnetic fields found on planets and in living organisms alike, it can read one's fortune. Uh, this science is too complex to explain, but whether you go north or south, do heed its guidance. In fortune-telling circles, this is the color of illumination. It has the power to light the path before us, showing us which way to go if we want better luck in life, and specifically in money-making endeavors. I hope the illumination, illumination glue will light my way. This is neither the color of the sky nor the color of the sea, though it is nearly the color of both. No, as blue hues go, this is like a cool splash of water on your face, or like shaved ice on a summer day. Or like the calm surface of the swimming pool after my love swim away for the first time. Oh, oh my. I got swept away for a moment there. This treasure has not only two prongs, but two personalities. That is, it's so beautifully designed, a noble person might hang it on their wall as a decoration. At the same time, it's so fierce a warrior might use it as a weapon. A spear appreciated by rulers and warriors alike. That is a mighty spear indeed. Notice how resplendent the blue hue of this slab is? It's called Cobalt Blue. The pigment is extracted from one renowned for honing, uh, sorry, from or renowned uh, for honing one's intuition, intelligence, and reflexes. Yes, the more I gaze upon it, the more advanced I feel myself become. This vegetable was tended to with the utmost care. Doted on, you might say. You can tell by its exceptional flavor and nutritional value. Yes, all the love given to it has turned into a sweet and savory food treat. Delicious and delightful. Did you know that satellites are highly vulnerable to meteors and other space debris? This shield was specifically made for space workers who protected these vital pieces of tech from damage. If this shield can withstand a blow from a meteor, it can withstand anything. <laughs> Marvelous. I'm going to be dipping into that menu quite a bit, I can tell. Do drop by anytime you'd like to peruse the treasure catalog. Will do, my friend. And now I just want to talk, uh, go find our uh, Russ and see what... Uh, what gear you can offer us at the moment. Visit lab, yes please. <laughs> uh, allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of this rescue corps operation. Well met, yes, last time I met you, you were very passed out. I use the raw materials you find and my handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for use in the field. Let's head to the lab. So if you can create consumable items, then I have to imagine that um, you can get... There are not finite materials in this world. You can get a, a, an infinite number of them. Otherwise, you'd be able to use all your consumables and screw yourself out of permabuffs, I imagine. I can proudly say that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could even say I have it down to a... <laughs> Science! <laughs> In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. Yeah. I may run out of uh, components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. I see. Acquire all gear from the lab. <laughs> Side quest. Buy everything. Oh, wow. Okay, survey drone. It's imperative to explore your surroundings from every vantage point. Use this drone to scout the area. Right, sure. I can see how that would be useful. Um, That says gear, not items, so I suppose this is a permanent equipment. It would be. And these are um are consumable items. Although it just says prototype. It doesn't actually say how many items I would need for it. Oh, okay, so I'm just allowed to take these every day. Is that it? It's a superfood that replenishes Oachi's HP. Give lots of these and even more belly rubs. It's the least you can do. Gotcha. Okay, so the, the first one you get it free, and then it's you, you buy it beyond that. Emergency kit. Um, so it's a fairy, basically. You get uh, killed in your back. I would like one of those, please. This life-saving kit auto-replenishes your HP. You should always keep one equipped. Then you can focus on rescuing. I looked at this, and I thought it was a first aid kit. Pippa Carrot um, has a paralyzing effect when eaten. Perfect for stopping and baiting creatures. Oh, wicked. We don't have any ultra-bitter spray, but this is the next best thing. I wonder why they paralyze creatures like this. They don't do that in the other games. I mean, not that you you, you can only use Pikmin pick carrots in the the enemy logbook in Pikmin 2, but it doesn't paralyze them there. They just eat them. Toss one of these crunchies to a creature and watch its bitter flavor paralyze them from head to toe. Or tail. Ah, at least we're still keeping the bitter theme for it. There are plenty of Pikmin carrots in the pantry, but some are duds and way too bitter to be considered edible. <laughs> By us, anyway. <laughs> uh, but the more you'll feed to the creatures, the longer they'll stay out of your way. Cool. I definitely do want to stock up on those at some point, but, um... I want to be spending my materials on perma upgrades here. So thermal defense. Oh, can't withstand, can withstand the cold, but that doesn't mean he can't catch frostbite. So he doesn't freeze uh, solid anymore, and he doesn't catch fire anymore. These are good things for him, good properties for him, because now I can basically just set him to fight these things, and he's invulnerable to these things, like a Pikmin of that same type. Treasure gauge. Uh, detects treasure in castaways nearby. No need to rely on your natural instincts to guide you now. Well, Awachi kind of already does that, as and they already also show up on the map, so that's kind of low priority for me. Charging horn. Oh, he can get the charge. Okay, good. Absolutely, I want that. I was, uh, I was worrying the, I was, I was starting to think that maybe the only way you could do that would be to get them all onto Owachi and then have Owachi rush them, which is, is a charge up to here. So that's the charging horn from Pikmin Three, which is nice. Uh, if this is a permanent upgrade and not like a consumable, then absolutely I want the survey drone. And then I think we want to give Owachi resistance to one 
Hazard. I'm gonna give him the, the, the fire resistance. And we should probably be saving up for these other upgrades. I just want to know... Ooh. But I can... So there's a limit to these. Or you, you can only make 15 in one day. Is that it? You know what? I'll just I'll just stock up on a few. I'll, I'll get four of those because I really like the sound of that. And they're pretty cheap. As for these... Uh, I mean, I don't anticipate dying too much. So I shouldn't... I shouldn't... Uh, I mean, you know, no one does. <laughs> I shouldn't spend too much uh, on these. But I'll, I'll have three on hand. And as for this, um, I've got two. I should be enough to keep Awachi out of trouble for for a few. Because I assume he heals every day, so... Or he does heal every day, we know this. So that, that should be good enough. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the Charging Horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press X to blow the horn once in, in order your uh, Pikmin to charge. Hi. If you press X once, only a selected Pikmin or Awachi will charge. But keep pressing X and the entire squad charges, right? Because it, it sends it by, by um, type of Pikmin and stuff. As you can see, the horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You could even call it Dendori Dynamite. I won't, but I could. So do I have to be locked on? Does that carrot look like a Pikmin to you? What? Which? The Pikmin carrot? Yes, a little bit. Okay, right. So you can... So, okay, you don't even have to be logged on in this game. Nice. In Pikmin 1 and 2, you have a, a swarm feature that you can just... You can direct them to... You can direct them in a direction, and if they learn into anything, they latch onto it and either pick it up or attack it. And this is basically the, the evolution of that, is you just send them forward to do that. Oh, but Wicked, if, if they don't find anything, they, they stay in your squad. So you can just... You can be kind of be mashing this and just... To charge them all around. Oh, cool. And just... So if you're if you're in a panicky situation and you want to like clear the area of enemies, this is how you do it. Gotcha. So it's even better than in three one really. One more yellow pellet I missed here, or you know pellet. They they change colors to match us, so it's just a pellet pellet. Awesome. I'm loving this upgrade system. I very much like the the sound of that. I imagine we'll be getting more as we carry on. And speaking of carry on, that is all the time we have for this episode, unfortunately. So I'll be seeing you uh, next time. Next video on the channel, however, is gonna be. Well, uh, presuming I can get it done, which I um, I always underestimate how long these videos take to edit. <laughs> but presuming I can get it done, it's our Omari meme dub part 6. If it isn't, it's probably Tears of the Kingdom, but um, ideally I'll be getting this one. I might have to just even take a few days for, with no uploads just to get it done. Because uh, it, it shouldn't really wait any longer. <laughs> it's been in the works for some time now. After which, of course, we'll be with some more Pikmin 4. I'll go record that now. Thank you so much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. And was going to be out of here now. Peace! Yeah. Smash. Okay, um, am I just gonna pull this off or anything? No, I'm not. I take it back. Uh, we'll photograph those after, shall we? We do have the, the resource we have the most of is, um, arrows here, so it probably would be one of us to use them. Actually, what we'll probably do with more is if I fuse this right off your chest. I can't do that.